I were to ask you guys, how often do you stop and take a step back from your life to celebrate life and human beings? And when I say life, I don't mean birthdays or anniversaries. I mean like life, earth, and our experiences with that. Most of you would probably say, not really that often, not so much, not really a big thing. But I get to celebrate that every year through spending the year with my family. That is one of my biggest family traditions, and I've been doing this since I was super little, so in my earliest memory. And that's why I feel ready to tell you guys all about it. Um, I think it's interesting for people who either haven't heard about it or don't really know much about it because it's really based on a concept that isn't widespread in American culture. And I think that's interesting for people who don't really know much about it. So let me go into like the background for each year, what is the code book, and like my favorite part of that. So to begin, through the new year is all about celebrating the new season of life that begins with the advent of spring. It goes back about 3,000 years, and it's deep-rooted in Persian culture. The way it always works and has always worked is that it begins with the vernal equinox of um, spring. So basically, the second that the earth rotates, it switches from winter to spring, is the actual Persian New Year. It changes every year from like March 19th to the 21st, and it can be like 4 in the morning or 11 at night, and the 21st is honestly waking up or staying up with your entire family for the exact second that the actual new year begins. So to go and decide how it works, it usually starts about two weeks before in preparation, before the actual equinox, and then celebrations 13 days after. So the overarching theme is just basically renewal and renewal of cleansing away the past and dirt and the anger of all the past year and just starting fresh for the new year. Um, all events connect back to that thing, whether it's jumping over fire to burn the negative in the past, giving money to prepare for the new year, or uh, setting up the traditional cycle. So I want to go into this traditional table setup, which is called a half scene, which is my favorite part about it. Um, it's composed of certain components, and all of these have to do with whether it's rebirth, fertility, love, um, prosperity, new life, health. So the funnest part about that for me is setting it up with my family is in, there's one of them which is grass and I start growing that with my family with seeds or going to the store and buying pink and egg which is similar to each year but a little different but when I set up this table with my family it feels like no time has passed and any problems anyone has in their personal life is pushed aside and it's all about togetherness um, looking back on all the years I've done this I understand the value of the tradition a lot better it's centered on community family and deep respect for tradition which you can't tell I'm super big on. And uh, what's it called? I think it's super cool to have an experience that brings together your family. And if you guys don't have that, I encourage you to start something, whether it's cultural or just something you want to do with your 